Breaking this morning, two people are dead and 10 were hurt when heavy rains from Ida washed away a Mississippi highway. The current was about 50 feet long, 20 feet deep, swallowing seven vehicles in what is now a gaping hole. Now, this news comes as rescuers in boats, helicopters, and high water trucks are helping bring hundreds who were trapped to safety. More than one million homes and businesses in Louisiana and Mississippi are without power. The damage is so extensive, officials say it could be weeks until the grid is repaired. ABC's TJ Parker rode out the storm for us in New Orleans and joins us live from the Crescent City this morning. Good morning, TJ. Yeah, good morning, Matt and Nadia. It is still unclear how many people still need rescuing here in southern Louisiana, but thousands of National Guard members have been called out now to help. This morning, an urgent search and rescue mission underway along Louisiana's Gulf Coast, where Hurricane Ida obliterated entire communities. This is one of the worst natural disasters I've ever seen in St. John. In one parish outside New Orleans, officials say nearly 800 people have been rescued so far. We've been in our emergency operations center. I slept here. I will continue to sleep here, and my home's flooded. I lost my car. So um, but we're here to do the people's work. This new video from above Grand Isle showing homes destroyed and buildings without roofs. Rescuers are struggling to reach the barrier island where authorities say 40 people chose to ride out the storm. Overnight, officials revealing they believe all of those people did survive. And new drone video over the town of Laplace showing neighborhoods surrounded by water. The rain just kept coming. It wouldn't stop coming. The rain wouldn't stop. More than 5,000 members of the Louisiana National Guard are helping in the rescue effort using 95 high water vehicles, 79 boats, and 34 helicopters. Also helping in the mission, locals like Vincent Ocello in Lafitte. He is responding to people on Facebook who are asking for help, then reaching them by boat after getting their address. Ida was officially the second strongest hurricane to hit Louisiana, with wind gusts up to 172 miles per hour. And later today, Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas will be in the state today to survey the damage with the Louisiana governor. We're live in New Orleans this morning. I'm TJ Parker for Channel 6 Action News.